Hey folks, welcome to another edition of Play Branson, where you get to know Branson's entertainers better. And today, we have the king of Branson. That's what I call him, Mr. Shoji Tabuchi, one of the most influential artists here in Branson, Missouri. He's going to be on the show. He was actually on my first show, and uh, he's back. It's been a couple of years, and so we're excited to have him back, and we'll hear all about what he's got going on. Um, you know, because he's here, I always sometimes I'll like give facts about uh, uh, you know, some of the artists that are here or kind of in their genre. And so Shoji's known for playing the violin, playing the fiddle, which is actually the same instrument. And they, most people actually consider that an intellectual pursuit to play the violin. However, a violinist can actually burn around 170 calories per hour. That's factual information you probably never needed to know, but it's true. And that's equivalent to about one soft drink. Um, string players, like violinists, tend to have larger brains. Interesting fact and statistics. This is due in part to the complex motor skills and reasoning required to play the instrument. If you've never heard Shoji play his violin, he is a master at it and uh, has done it for literally decades. Um, and, and so, folks, we are excited to have him here. Um, it's now October in the Ozarks, and, man, we had an awesome September. The weather was perfect. I think the, it's going to start cooling down just a little bit now in October. And we've got lots of great things going on. Uh, we have the new Pumpkin Nights. If you didn't see our last episode with Brad Thomas out at Silver Dollar City, go check that out. Uh, that's new out there. And, uh, of course, the, all the crafts that are here in the community. And uh, so if, you ha if, you, if you're, like, sitting at home, come to Branson. It's a great time to come here in the fall. We'll be back in just a moment with Mr. Shoji Tabuchi. There are so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need iBranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at iBranson.com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782 ibranson.com. Hey folks, welcome back to Play Branson. And today I've got a very, very special guest. The king of Branson is what I like to say, Mr. Shoji Tabuchi. It's great to have you here on the show. Well, me too. Nice so, to see you. Thank nice you. Nice to see you. And so the very first show I ever did, Play Branson, episode number one, number was one. you. And oh, so God. you're back. And, and we, we've talked one other time since then on the show. But it's been a while since you've right. been here. And, and a lot has happened. Um, and so I think, I think, you know, in the last couple of years, you've, you've had, a, you had a fire at your theater. Yes. Then you had water damage. <laughs> and so now this year, this fall, you are at the Clay Cooper Theater. Yes. And they so are, tell, tell people a little bit about what's going on over at the Clay Cooper Theater. Well, we are doing a, a regular show right now in, at the Craig Cooper Theater on the Monday, 7.30, and Wednesday, 2 o'clock, and uh, Friday, 7.30. Okay, so basically three yes, times three, a week. Three times a week. And so they can either see you in the evening or in the afternoon, depending on, on the day. Exactly. And, and so You've also been traveling kind of around the country and overseas as well. Yes, went to went to Texas and oh, some then went to Japan. Yes, uh, our theater, uh, not theater. I'm sorry, our college, 60th year anniversary, oh and gosh. we ha can you believe we had band, bluegrass band in college, wow. and we we won twice. You know, all Japan, whole entire band contest. Yeah. And so, college want, want to us to perform, so uh, we went to Japan and then took Christina. Yes, and I saw, the, I saw yeah, some of her posts online. Christina really enjoyed, she, yeah. she did a great job. She, she was a big hit. Yeah, so tell me, if, if maybe, maybe someone's never seen your show before, and so what can they expect in the fall show? But then you, you change into Christmas as well. Right. And so tell people a little bit about both shows. Well, what we do, we try to do every different style of music. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, I, was, uh, I came to the United States because of the country music. Right. And so uh, Mr. Roy Aker, 
came to Japan and I went to see his concert and I, I got the inspiration and he, oh, he told me, boy, come to United <laughs> States and look me up. So I came to U.S. with the American dream. Yes. And, and now you didn't have very much money in your pocket at that 500. point. Five hundred. Five hundred dollars. Yes. And you know, this, this is the greatest country we live in, and uh, I'm very, very grateful to this country, giving my American dream to come true. Yeah. And 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 I traveled all over this United States of America with uh, of David Houston from Nashville, Tennessee, mm -hmm. and. He had the two Grammy Award winning song called Almost Persuaded Country Song. Huh. And I had a great opportunity and put band together for Terry Bradshaw of the Pittsburgh Steer. Yes. For, I don't bet I think a lot of people don't know that. Don't know that. Yeah. And so you Because he, he quit pretty quick. So <laughs> <laughs> Now the other thing the other thing that you did um, is you've been on the Grand Old Opry. Yes. Many, many times. Many, I, I'm showing here 27. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people know that either, that uh, Shoji here has been on the Grand Old Opry that many times. And besides even that, um, you've, you've performed with lots of great yes, uh, country been, entertainers, everything from Ray Stevens to Johnny Cash yeah, to we just Dolly did Parton. A, yeah, just did the Dolly Parton was with uh, still Porta Wagner at oh, that wow. time. And Ray Stevens, we just did the... Uh, uh, taping his uh, okay. TV show in okay. Nashville. Okay. Yes. And I, we had a great opportunity doing uh, lots of Statra Brothers show. And uh, the first time TV appearance Christina did was with, with me was Nashville Now. Nashville Now. Yeah, with yeah, Love that, Emery. That was, a, that was a while back. Uh, yes. Um, you're kind of known for your jackets. Yeah. And so you, these jackets are, t like, I tried one on one time, and they're very heavy. <laughs> yes. Like, you got, I mean, they're like, how, how, do you know how much they weigh? I believe the, the heaviest one I wear, the, oh, the Pinata jacket, it weighs 40 pounds or 45 pounds, I believe. Yeah. Yes. So you got to, people yeah. don't, I, I don't think people realize how much sometimes it's, these jackets weigh. So it's <laughs> fancy. Uh, I wish I had a jacket that fancy. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, you just recently released your second. Yes. Is this the Christmas CD? Yes, your this second is a, Christmas CD. This is my, my brand new CD. Yes. And it's called Lights Up Christmas. And that was released on September 9th. Um, brand new. Brand new. And uh, tell, tell people what, what, what's well, this, on this. This is my second one. First one was... Uh, Lots of classical, the classic of Christmas songs in it. This one, uh, I had fun with it, uh, arranging it uh, like a uh, uh, little polka. Okay. Uh, and light jazz swing and the big band. and So know, lots of different I, styles yes, of, lots of, of music, different. which is kind of what you're known for in your shows, is you'll do everything from... Polka, a big band, a country, and I've even seen you rap, right? Have yeah. I, yes, I, well, I, I think I have. <laughs> I think I have. Yeah, Rock I'm, and I'm roll. The, this year, can you believe I'm doing the, well, actually, Christina got me started, the Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Yeah. Tony Bennett, watch out. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. So yeah. if somebody wants to pick up this CD, uh, it's got 15 songs on it. They can go to your website, yes. uh, shoji.com, and get yes. it. Or the, it's in the gift shop at the Clay Cooper Theater. And so that would make a nice Christmas present for somebody. That's the nice thing about Christmas albums is they, they're they pretty timeless. Right. So and, it's a sh sh Chris, you know, people cannot say my name, you know. It's a shoji, S-H-O-J-I, shoji.com. Not suji, soji. <laughs> you know, yes, yes. Pronounce shoji.com. There you go. And it says here it's even, you can even get it on iTunes, Apple Music, yes, on Spotify. Uh, I just started, I'm, I'm old school, so I normally do CDs, but I, my kid introduced me to Spotify like the other day. And well, so I've. I never heard of it. I, uh, I'm I, a dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
Besides this, though, you have, and I've shown here, 16, wait, this was the 16th album. Yes. Six, that's a lot of albums. One of them, uh, uh, correct, well, the three of them collector's item, and the, now and then people bring me and then at the show and they autograph it. Wow, yeah. this, yeah. where did you find it? Yeah. It, they found it on the vinyl. They're yeah. the, they're the, well, and I, that's what I like about CDs. You cannot autograph a digital music, but you no. can a CD and you can pass that down to your other folks. We're going to be back in just a second, so stay tuned. We'll be right back with more with Shoji Tabuchi. There are so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need iBranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at iBranson.com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782. Hey folks, welcome back to Play Branson. We are here on the second segment with Mr. Shoji Tabuchi. And uh, Shoji, you've got a busy fall and Christmas schedule. Yes. And we, so you're starting your Christmas show, actually quick. probably earlier than anybody else. Right. Uh, Jumps up. And so you're starting it on October 21st. Yes. And you did that, you started it early last year, and you got great response. People love your Christmas show. And Christmas so show is the most popular one, I and mean, with that is the time we do more bigger production too. Mm -hmm. So, and so if someone's never been to your Christmas show, what kind of things can they expect to see? Well, Santa's coming. Santa's coming. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. And we we have a like a, a Trans Siberian Orchestra style of arrangement or. A, you know, we have, a, uh, of course, do pol polka uh, type arrangement or just, just classical, arrange classical arrangement okay. of Christmas. And, and so you have you lots have, of different styles. Lots of, and so your daughter, Christina, is in the uh -huh. show, and she helps produce the whole show, correct? She does. She, she took on heavy responsibility. So I don't have to do much anymore. Yeah. You just show up and yeah, you listen just, to her, what just, she tells you to just, do, right? Just fiddling. <laughs> you fiddle around, right? Right, exactly. Yes. Uh, you have a lot of fiddles, and you have some pretty special fiddles as well um, that are pretty like significant. Like, a, Can you tell people about that? Mr. Eka was presented violin by Grand Oropi, 50th of year of mm -hmm. anniversary of uh, with the Grand Opry, right? and they presented him the inlaid and his he actual head on the scroll, and they uh, presented to him. And I outbid George Jones. You outbid George and Jones to get it. It's 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 in my position. That and is also, one of his violin, uh, he used to do. Uh, on, on his further than the nose, and he had dropped it a couple of times. You know, I got the actual crack in it, but wow. uh, that one too I have. So two of his Mr. Aircraft's violin. Wow. So your Christmas show it starts October twenty first and it goes to December sixteenth, mm -hmm. and you're going to be doing it at the Clay Cooper Theater. Yes. Which, folks, if you haven't been to the Clay Cooper, it's right in the center of town, right across from the Titanic Museum, and Shoji's show is going to be three different times. He's going to have a 10 o'clock show, he's going to have a 2 o'clock show, and a 7.30 show, and so it just kind of depends on the day, and so once again, we encourage you to go uh, to Shoji.com, or you can check it out at iBranson.com, the schedule over there, because there's lots going on at the Clay Cooper Theater. You, besides, of course, you are in the show a great amount, but your daughter's in the show. You also have dancers. Oh, yes. And that, that, uh, other people in the show yes. as well. Uh, our grandbaby. Your grandbaby. Yeah. Is now in the Daddy show. Daddy J. Yep. There we go. Some, some pop in and out. Oh. Uh, so you're sometime. a proud grandfather. Yes. Yes. Proud and, grandpa. <laughs> yes. That is awesome. And, um, I mean, you've been here in Branson now for, is it, what, almost 30 years or over 30 years? Or? Well, can you believe I, I came here 
I'm the 1981. 81. And I worked two different theater for seven years before we built our own theater. Right. First one was at, at the behind the Olive Garden. Okay. And then, then I was there one year. And then Mel Terrace took over. Right. Mel came and said, I, 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 I. so I said, <laughs> I would have liked okay. to have been with you and Mel when you guys yeah. were fishing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah. that would have been an interesting experience. Well, well I, I tell you what, that is, it, it was fun. Mel and I, you know, we get together. You know, he's a, actually, he, he and I had a, oh, things going. He always said, oh, I can't, I can't take shoji fishing because I ate his menos. <laughs> uh, then I will I'll turn around and he sent me people and I said, I, I can't talk too well because uh, Mel Terrace was my English teacher. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, well, we, we miss Mel, that's for oh, sure. And, uh, uh, we, we really miss him. Yeah. Yeah, and, he, uh, he's a, he, you know, he's a legend. And, and great, great songwriter. You know, yeah. Lots of people don't know that. No, know. wrote lots of songs. And oh. Mel Tillis Jr. is actually going to be here in Branson oh, this, this fall. And so I, I, have, I don't know a lot about Mel Tillis Jr., but he is coming. So, um, but we appreciate, uh, I know you and him always joked about yeah. fishing and different stuff like that. And so I know you like to fish, but you also like to golf, right? Yeah. And have, uh, you've hit a hole-in-one, is that correct? Two hole-in-ones. Two hole-in-ones. That's pretty I awesome. Came with, this cross the other day, yeah. hit the pin, pin, but didn't drop, drop in. Wow, that's awesome. But that's not very many people can say they've hit one, but then to hit two well, is Mickey, pretty amazing. Well, Mickey Giddy had a four. Four. Yeah. Yeah. So um, your fall show, yes. you got a variety of things going on in the fall show. Uh -huh. um, and just a lot of different types of music. Uh -huh. Of course, you have the dancers then again as well, yes. correct? So, you know, Shoji has been so influential in Branson and really, um, you know, your bathrooms created a lot of controversy well, back in the day. And I, right. I always told people that was like the best marketing that anybody could ever do. In fact, you got awards for having like yes. the most amazing bathrooms. Yes. And, and I remember yeah. I would go on the coaches and I would say, you got to go into Shoji's restroom. And because uh, the men's room had like a forty thousand dollar pool table in it, right. I think, and uh, you just didn't see that everywhere. And so no. you kind of became <laughs> the talk of the town with th that marketing. That was incredible, great marketing. Yeah, exactly. Um, with that, and of course, you guys had you know amazing productions, and and really, you, you really stepped up the game in the, Branson. Yeah, Dorsey, uh, Dorsey had a great idea. You know, the bringing the best of best, you know, choreographer. Or, Costume designer and, and the people start flying and all that, you yeah. know. Uh, she put it together. Yeah. And, and she and Mona, Mona Stafford. Yes. The design, you know. Yeah. Because there was one point in the show where you actually came out of the ceiling yeah, down, and that's, that was your entrance. And, and so you had all these special effects people didn't have other places. And so we did the, um, you've done a lot, of, a lot of things for the community. The other thing, and we're about out of time, but the other thing is you've actually played for uh, both President Bush, did. senior and son, yes, as well. Yes, very, very honor. Yes. So you've, it's, I think it's, I, I like to say it's the, really the American dream story. Um, you True. followed your dream, came over here with $500, and you've brought just joy to really millions of people through and your music. Be became citizen of the United yes. States. Yes, that's awesome. Now, that was hard, the test you have to take, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of things you have yeah. to remember. Yeah, well, and it, you've, done a, you've done a great job helping to promote Branson, and so thanks once again for coming on the well, show. Thank and, you. And folks, if you have not been to see Shoji Tabuchi, be sure to go check him out. He'll be at the Clay Cooper this fall and Christmas. And uh, you can go over to Clay's Theater, buy the tickets. You can either go to Shoji.com or you can go to iBranson.com. We'll be back in just a moment to wrap the show up. Hey, folks, 
Welcome back to Play Branson. We're wrapping the show up. I want to thank Mr. Shoji Tabuchi for coming out and spending some time with us today. Um, our next episode, we're going to interview someone I've never interviewed before, Mike Williamson. Uh, he just got bass player of the year over at number one hits of the 60s. And so I'm excited to interview him and get to know him better. Some things that we have upcoming actually on October 4th, which is just a day away, is Branson Oktoberfest, authentic German food, live polka bands, and lots more happening. That is down at the Faith Lutheran Church. And if you need more information, you can call those folks. Uh, so that's a unique event in town. Also, in October, we have a lot of entertainers coming in. Uh, the Oak Ridge Boys are going to be here actually uh, the night of the 3rd, October 3rd, but they're here a lot in October over at the Mansion Theater. Uh, it's always good to have them. We also have Ronnie Millsap coming up this month, Gene Watson. We have Gary Lewis and the Playboys. So we have a lot of special, uh, what I'd say, one-off shows that will be here in town in October. So be sure to check those out while you're here. If you need help planning your entire Branson vacation, you can go to the folks at ibranson.com. You can book your shows, your attractions, your lodging. You can even get discount dining deals there as well. You can call those folks at 1-877-ENTERTAIN or go to ibranson.com. Be sure to like us on facebook.com forward slash playbranson. Always happy to get your feedback. Tell us what you want to see what you like, what you don't like. We're happy to hear it. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.